Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thanks for stopping on by. I appreciate that. Today I wanted to talk about a study that I read, an article that I happened upon, and you probably saw the title. It's um, Sex on a First Date, Statistically Speaking. And we're going to talk about that. If that's all intriguing to you, then stick around because that's what's on the agenda right now. So, so to start, we should probably have that baseline of remembering that for much of history, casual sex or sex before marriage has been typically frowned upon and most especially for women, but there have been changes. And now I would say that researchers believe that is a widely practiced choice. So with that happening more and more often, there are some things we need to know, some changes in the landscape of premarital sex, more casual sex, and a couple of those are coming up here. Gonna start with a statistic I read, and I may have to check my notes, so if I do, don't, don't be mad at me. The impetus for this conversation we're having today was a 2022 paper that was written based on studies out of uh, University in Michigan and others, a few others, one of those where they use data from other studies. And what University of Michigan showed was that women have less propensity towards, less satisfaction with casual encounters than they ever have before, and they're, therefore it's happening less and less for women. They said women are less motivated to have a casual sexual relationship, and there are some reasons for that. Over the years, they would always talk about the fact that women were programmed by evolution to not engage in casual sex because it would lead to pregnancy and they had to make sure that they had a reliable partner to help raise this child, especially early man times, right? You've got in the cave with a child, you can't just have a guy running off and being with the next woman. You and your child are going to be you know, being hunted at the time. But with birth control, obviously, back in the 60s, lots of that changed and free love, baby. So <laughs> the landscape around that changed and women took the power of their bodies. And that's a whole nother topic for another day or just turn on the news. But uh, that's no longer part of the equation when women are deciding whether or not to engage in a physical relationship with someone that they're not in a long-term committed relationship with. However, even in this day and age, they are more likely to experience social stigma. There's still, if you are having too much of that casual sex, there's still a reputation that goes along with that. And there is also a greater likelihood that you would experience in that situation sexual violence. So women are still not safe, and that is probably one of the reasons that that is on the decline, but there are more. In the past, a, a stereotype came into play in this conversation, and that was that women who were more likely to engage in casual sex were women who had low self-esteem. But over recent years, that was refuted. And not true in the case that women are doing this of their own volition, making that choice, and it's an autonomous choice. They're not being pressured in any way. They found in that situation that there was really no bearing on someone's self-esteem or self-confidence or any way that they felt about themselves negatively. And I'm getting to the main point here, which was the crutch of that article. But first, I thought I should mention, too, that this new study also pointed out that having casual sex at the beginning of a relationship was not indicative as to whether there was going to be a successful long-term relationship. It didn't end the relationship more quickly because there was casual sex at the beginning, and yet it also did not guarantee that there would be a better chance of a long-term relationship and the success of a relationship based on that same casual sex early on. was. But to wrap this up, this quick tip, I just wanted to share with you also that what they found was that women are less inclined to want to and to have casual sex in the most recent years based on these numerous studies. And the reason was this, casual sex for women is very often not as pleasurable as that type of sex is for a man. So they were walking away from it because they found it less fulfilling and less likely to end positively for them. That's really what the study came out and said. So I figured it was interesting because first of all, I wanted to mention to you primarily that choosing to or choosing not to have a physical relationship with someone early, very early in the dating process 
was not going to have an impact on the success of a long-term relationship. But also I thought it was interesting that women are just not wanting to have casual sex because it's usually not that great for them. So I hope you found that interesting or enjoyable. If you did, give the episode a thumbs up. If you were there, you might as well hit that ring bell and the subscribe button so that we can hang out again sometime. This is a quick tip. It's just meant to give you a little bit of information and let you get on with your day. And I think I did a pretty good job of that today. So I deserve a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, have a good one.